Good morning, I'm Ola England and today I'm trying out the Fortin 33 Pe Holy shit, okay, there it is. <laughs> Dropped it. Fredrik Tornendal Signature Pedal. Uh, it's basically like a shaped clean boost that is super awesome. If you haven't checked out my demo already, go ahead and do that. But today I wanted to try it out with the Satan. And just as a disclaimer, the Satan 50 that I have here is basically exactly the same as the regular 100 watt Satan, except it has just two power amp tubes, which are only 6L6s, okay? While as the 100 watt has two 6L6s and two KD88s. Good, okay, so let me show you how to set it up. Hopefully it can stand up there. No, it cannot, okay, so. This is the regular sound of the Satan. I would set it up something like this, maybe. This is without the boost engaged. And uh, if you want to engage a boost or use a tube screamer or uh, an overdrive in general, I recommend dialing down the grind on the Satan and dialing up the girth a little bit, basically making it sound more non-modern, if that makes any sense. Something like that, maybe. And let's engage the 33 Pell from Fortin Amplification. So <clears throat> that's full on with the 33 pedal if I dial it down a bit. <laughs> Sounds pretty badass, I must say. Okay, let's... D Shut up. Let's dial down the girth a little bit and then just go full on. Because, I mean, full on. So the single chain is basically this guitar, which is a Solar, I can't say the model name yet, but you will know what this guitar is in a couple of videos. And uh, this guitar into a Dia Dario cable, into the Fortin 33 pedal, and then into the Randall Satan. And the Satan goes to the Hesu 2x12 vertical cabinet that I have here, and the speakers are Hesu Demon speakers. The microphone is a Shure SM58 and that goes into my UAD Apollo 8 interface right over there. So what you're hearing is the raw sync. So this is the amp without the pedal engaged. Engage. So you're getting a bit more extra juice using this pedal. This is again just a Satan amp without the pedal engaged. I recommend dialing down the grind a fair bit when you engage an overdrive pedal or a boost in front of the amp. Just to remove that top end sizzle, making the amp sound more non-modern. <laughs> Thank you. 
test for you hope it was educational <laughs> not really so that's how you run one of these into the Satan okay thank you so much for watching the camera over there is running out of battery power so I'm gonna shut down this video right now thank you so much for watching see you next video